Kane Brown. Also, Caitlin Brown is here too. Caitlin, it's the first time you've actually been on the show as a guest guest, so thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. Is it weird? It's so weird. Because when you walked in, and I mean, we've talked to you many times, but yeah. you were coming in as a guest and you're like, I don't know, I feel awkward. Yeah, I feel a little out of place. <laughs> you could not be in a better place. Did you warm her up, Kane? What'd you tell her about us? Anything? Oh, so she's going to do great. She's very bubbly and a people person, so I'm more worried for myself. <laughs> about you here? No, I'm joking. Okay, I was going to no, say. No, no, no. She no, has I nothing think to worry Kane, about. Kane likes me being here because he's I like, do. you can do all the talking. <laughs> well, you, I mean, and by the way, wonderful. The song's wonderful which is between you guys. Thank you. And I watched, I remember the first time that I had seen you guys perform that song. I just flipped on, I was just flipping through Instagram and I saw you guys do Thank God Together. And I immediately sent Kane a message. It was about you. And I was like, hey, tell her that I know that that probably wasn't, not the singing part, but the getting up there for the first time part. Because you're not doing it in a bar for 11 people like a lot of people do at first. Mm -hmm. You're getting up to a, sol a sold out show with Kane. And I was like, just tell her I'm, we don't know each other super well, but I'm super proud of her because I know there was a lot of anxiety attached to that. And so it was all, it was so cool. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I was absolutely terrified. Um, I'm like nervous today. <laughs> all this stuff is like so crazy and weird to me. You know, I'm usually mom and wife and at home and I watched Kane do his thing. And um, it took a lot of courage to get up there. But in my like soul, I knew I would be so proud of myself if I was like, I did that. Um, but there was like a lot of walking back and forth backstage. I'm going to throw up. I don't know if I can do this. Um, you know, so. Did you watch it back after you were finished? And then how did you listen to it back? How did you, I don't want to say critique, but how did, mm -hmm. how did you accept your performance afterward? Um, I felt good. I mean, I was like really proud. I thought each night it would get easier. It didn't. Um, <laughs> leading up to Toronto, which was like the biggest show. And then like, I think it's more scary when, you know people that are coming so like he had a bunch of people from nashville come we had friends there and i'd rather just like not know anybody yeah. in yeah. the room yeah. <laughs> so um just a lot of new firsts for me does it excite you to the point where you want to do it more um i feel like i need to take baby steps i already struggle with like horrible anxiety as like a human so um i always tell kane i'm like whatever we do let's do baby steps. You know what I mean? And like ease in it. But I feel like I'm in like the best position because if I don't want to do it, the show's still going to go on. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's not like all the pressure is on me. So it's kind of like on my terms in a way. Kane, the first time that even before you performed it live, let's say you guys were talking about even doing the song, recording the song. What was that conversation like with her to even approach the idea of her singing on your record? She was cool with singing on the record. Um, I don't think she knew the size that the song was going to do, which I told her. I was like, it's going to be the biggest song on the album. Did you know that it would be a single? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because, well, first off, she can sing her butt off. So, uh, and the song, when, when, I was, when I first heard it, it was just an amazing love song. It's not two different artists singing on it. It's husband and wife. So I just felt, I was like, this is going to be a smash. Um, and my fans have been waiting on it. So I just knew. When you sang it in studio, Caitlin, were you nervous? Um... Not too nervous. I love Dan Huff. I mean, I've known him now through Kane for years, and he's, like, one of my favorite people here in Nashville. He's awesome. And, and yeah. The best producer professionally, but also, like, the warmest, most lovely man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's always been super encouraging to me, and um, he always knew for the last year, I mean, eight, seven years that, you know, Kane's been working with him that I sang, too. And he's like, when are we going to do this? So he was super encouraging and, like, really excited about it. Um, so, no, I wasn't nervous. I love the studio. Like, the studio is, like, I love to create, um, so I feel very comfortable there. All right, Kane and Caitlin are both here. Let me ask you guys a question as a married couple because it's something that a listener had asked us. Uh, they were having a birthday party for a one-year-old, and the wife was like, we want to do a big birthday party, spend a, have a big balloon deal. We're going to hire this person. We're going to do cake. And the husband's like, the baby's one. It's not going to remember anything. So, Caitlin, I'll start with you. A one-year-old birthday party, haven't experienced this yourself, what is your take and what you should do for a one-year-old's birthday party? I'm probably the wrong person to ask. <laughs> I love to throw a party. Um, so for Kingsley's first birthday, it was like over the top. I feel like a one-year-old party is definitely like more for the adults. I'm celebrating my <laughs> first year through motherhood with them. Um, so it kind of turns into like an adult party. But it's about the pictures for me. I'm like, I just love to look back on like the moments and have tons of people there and we went all out and I live for a party, so. Kane, what do you think? What would you tell the listener? 
maybe not even you guys, but the husband was like, I don't want to spend money on a one-year-old's birthday party. Uh, I would tell the husband that I was there at one point. <laughs> 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 and then uh, she talked me into it, and after we did it, you know, you have the memories and the pictures, and it's definitely worth it. It's like a big, you know, it's a big moment for them. In my house, I'll be gone a lot, and, or I'll be working a lot, and sometimes I like to sit down and play Madden, and it's I, sometimes me playing Madden ends up being three or four hours. Caitlin with Kane, are you ever like, are you going to get off the computer play, playing Call of Duty? Is that, does he play so much that you're like, how do you even play that long? I mean, like every single day of my life, I think that. I'm, I just, I'm just, wondering where he is, and he's either in the bathroom or playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> and I have, I have no idea where he is half the time we're at home. I don't see him at home. <laughs> Sometimes my wife will record from four rooms over, and you'll hear me going, hey, 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 hey. And she's like, listen, I'm trying to watch something, and I hear you screaming. Is he a vocal video game player at all? Um, I feel like not during the day, but the times that I wouldn't want him to be, it is like at night when the kids are sleeping <laughs> and Kane built like his own little gaming room. It's, it's really cute, like cozy little room. Um, but it's down the hall from our girls' rooms and it echoes. And if he leaves that door open and he's cursing in there and I'm like, would you just shut up? Mainly the 12 year olds. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what Eddie and I were talking about. Like kids, it, uh, it's crazy because I will get on or I used to, I don't play with kids anymore that I don't know. Anybody I don't know. But they get on and they say the most vulgar, mm -hmm. like the mean, they, they would be, they just throw the N word around like crazy. Yeah. And I, I'm like, you should, don't say that word. And also you're eight. And also, ah, and I just throw my headphones off. Like I shouldn't be here. <laughs> the C word. It's, they're saying all these words to me. And I'm like, as you're eight years old, yeah. why, why is that your go-to when I hit a slant for seven yards? That's their, uh, <laughs> that's their escape for cursing. It's, do you guys, do you play Roblox at all? No, but I, I did, I just did the, um, the concert series with them. Meaning you played in the game? Yeah, I got to do the virtual reality concert. It was cool. I felt really weird. I felt like it's like the Avatar thing where you put on the whole suit. You played a show with that suit on? Yeah. Oh, that, but yes, I bet that would feel weird, but that seems cool. It was cool. And it was cool to see, like, I had an Avatar in the game, and I even, you know, downloaded Roblox and went and watched my own concert. It was a little different, but. What did your <laughs> Avatar look like? I didn't spend time making him. It was just, they. I guess they gave me the, you know, the the random one that you get when you buy the game. Oh, so they didn't make a Kane Brown specific looking avatar for you? Oh, you mean my actual Yeah, yeah, when yeah, you yeah. did the concert. Uh, so it was just me. They did, um, they had like all the things on my face. And so like, it was literally me standing up there. Uh, so I had my Roblox guy and I went and jumped on my shoulder. Just kept jumping on my shoulder while I was performing. And then, so... And then the people that they know you're going to perform, they get in there in the game and they just go and they have their headset on and they mm -hmm. just go to where you're performing. You can hear it. Yeah. That's can super. people go back and watch it now or it had no, to be live? Yeah, it's over. Oh, okay. Because I was like, oh, my son's on Roblox all the time. He'd go. Yeah, it was really cool. <laughs> He'd go to your show. Kayla, can I ask a couple questions about you? Are you sure. cool? I know this is kind of a lot. We were like, hey, will you come do the interview with Kane? Yeah. Where did you grow up? Uh, right outside Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And how did you end up in Tennessee of all places? Uh, well, I met Kane um, along the way, and so he actually just moved up from uh, Chattanooga not long before um, I moved up here when we started dating. And what did you feel about the difference in moving from? And, and was it a rural part? Because I listen when I when I do a show in Delaware, it's so close to Philly, yeah. and there's definitely rural areas all around Philly. So were you from like the city or from right outside? Where it's right a bit outside rural? the city, there's like a area called. I, a lot of people know the King of Prussia Mall. Or Westchester, um, those are more common. Maybe no one knows in this room, but <laughs> um, the, it's uh, it's like thirty minutes outside the city. I don't live anywhere in yeah. downtown Philly or anything like that. Um, so like a suburb. And outside. when you moved to Tennessee, was it a big culture change for you? No, no, it really isn't. You know, it actually reminds me a lot of Pennsylvania down here, and we live out in the woods too, and that's kind of how I grew up. And it's very similar. Does it feel like home? Now? It does. Yeah. It's not as cold though. I love it. No, I, mean, I don't know though. We've had like some we have really crazy weather. weather yeah. so. I, I hate cold weather. Yeah. And so again, I'll just ask you this one final time. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you will do any more recording of music with Kane or just yourself in the future? Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. Um, truly, I haven't like planned anything. We haven't really talked. I mean, I guess we were like, we would love to do some more music together for sure. But um, we're kind of just taking it like day by day. George and, and Tammy did a bunch of records, just those two. No, no, I would love to have I a mean, whole... a full record would be, mm -hmm. would we, be super We had cool. yeah. so much fun. I mean, we really had, I feel like it brought like another bond in our relationship. And it's something that we both love. And, um, you know, I think we definitely will do something else. But who knows? What's your singing background? I've been singing since I was little. Um, 
music has always been like a huge part of my life. And that's actually how me and Kane even met each other was just through mutual people that we were both working with in the music business. And um, so I've always been singing. Yeah, I, was, I was sorry. I was supposed to be on her music video uh, the first time we were going to meet, but I had my first show that day. So I didn't meet her for a year later. So again, pardon me for being ignorant on this, no, but I think fine. it's also great because you were able to prioritize what you wanted to prioritize, meaning you were here and I said, I know you from a few different things from being local and having similar friends. And yeah, but I never knew you did music because I guess you just weren't like, look at me, I do music, no. but, but you're so good. Thank and now you. you're actually singing and you're forward facing with your music. Yeah. And, but I had no idea. Was that a dream of yours as a kid to be a singer? Yeah. You know what? Um, I don't know what my dream technically was. I just knew that I loved music so much. And um, so before I met Kane, I was definitely like an artist and working on my own music and stuff like that. And then um, I kind of stepped back from it and I ended up finishing my degree. And, and um, you know, the music industry was kind of like jading me at the time. I was young. I was like 18, 19 years old. And, you know, I've been doing it since I was like six, you know, plays and auditions and singing here and doing that. And um, I took a break from it. And when I took a break from it, I realized it really wasn't about being like, look at me. I just liked to create. And so when I got in the studio with Kane, I was like, this is truly what I love doing. The performance side gives me a lot of freaking anxiety. I don't know if like, like, I don't know how he does it. You know, that's so much pressure. Um, but I do love music. It, it makes me happy. And so I kind of feel like I'm have the best of both worlds right now. It's like I can be mom and I can be wife and supportive of Kane, but I'm also now getting the opportunity to do something that I really enjoy doing as well. Let me not dance around it here because I don't yeah. want people to think that. I think that it doesn't seem like you're, you and Kane are together to make you a music career. It doesn't seem like that at all. No. And I think people could, if they are just like, oh, I wonder what's it, because it does seem like that at times with other people, or it mm -hmm. seems like things are set up, or it seems like totally. it does not seem like that at all in the most complimentary way. And you're also awesome. And I'm like, it should have seemed like that. He should have been doing this earlier because she's awesome. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I think yeah. that was like this that the was scary the scariest part, part at the beginning. We were, because mm -hmm. honestly, like fans, when I first said I was in a relationship, they didn't take it the right way. Felt that. And plus, mm -hmm. she was a musician. So both of us wanted, you know, didn't want people to think that she was being like, yeah. Yeah. That that was probably the most scary part about putting a song out is people's like perception of it. And I kind of assumed that people would be like, oh, okay, now what? Did you, was there any time, and again, in a different level, my wife deals with this really bad, mm -hmm. um, where we've had literal stalkers and FBI and, but was there ever a time where you're like, I'm not going to go check my DMs because... At this little season, and I'm assuming, I'm hoping it's out of it because you've killed it. And again, it's so authentic. And I think that's what's great about the song you guys are doing. It doesn't feel like Kane's forcing you down our throat. It feels like Kane's finally going. My wife's also awesome, mm -hmm. and there's a big difference. Yeah. Did you? Was there ever a time where you're like, you know, I can't read comments right now because we just put the song out and people are crushing? Yeah. I mean, honestly, right now I don't have Instagram on my phone. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. I had. To, I just not because of like something in particular that happened, but um. I'm doing it more to just be present with my kids and my life. And I just see like, it's very consuming and reading comments and stuff like that. And it can be negative. You know, there's so many good ones and you're always just searching for the one bad one. And I just don't think it's healthy. So I'll take like a good social media detox. But, That's great. Mental health yeah. wise. That is so mature so of you good. because I don't do that. Yeah. I'm stupid. I'm like, let me, let me get on. They must love me today. Oh crap. They don't. They <laughs> <Yeah>. still don't. <laughs> I bet today's the day they love me. Oh, they still don't. <laughs> Well, again, all about this song, and I mean this as sincerely as possible. It just is, it, it's a, one, obviously it's a good song, it's a good recorded song, but it doesn't feel like it's something that was manufactured and to, to get you a career. But my my hope now is you're so good, and even I watched you sing, and you're like, oh, I'm so anxious, but you crushed it, which is why I sent Kane a message. Like, I hope that you do more of this. Thank you. Especially because this is your love, and don't not do it because you're worried about other people's perceptions that you don't even know will never meet. Right, yeah. I mean, I, th I think we're just going to figure it out, and, you know, I would love to keep doing some music and stuff like that, but just trying to see where I'd fit in. Family you know? band. Yeah. Family <laughs> band. Oh, yeah. Huh? Get the kids. Go, yeah. <laughs> oh, God bless. <laughs> <laughs> Kingsley. So. Uh, Kane and Caitlin Brown are here.
I'll briefly mention this. Uh, Georgia won the national championship, which is great for you. It, it's, it must be hard, though, being an Arkansas Razorback fan. I saw that somewhere online that you're an Arkansas Razorback fan and because you were like a lover of Arkansas. <laughs> so to have Georgia win, even though you're an Arkansas fan, how did that feel? It felt amazing. Yeah. Nah, honestly, that, that game was so sad. And I, I felt like the Ohio State-Georgia game was more of the national championship. Um, but, yeah, that was the best game Georgia played all season. Did you feel bad for TCU? Because I started to feel bad for TCU. I did. Well, and then I felt bad for their quarterback because he's a beast. Mm -hmm. And Georgia came to play that day. And when they scored that touchdown, I don't. I think a lot of people missed it, but he looked back at the coach and did, like, this head shake. Like, I'm shocked that we scored. When the guy fell, the TCU, the guy fell and threw the bomb touchdowns that you're talking about? Or the well, Georgia? no, the, the quarterback ran it in. And so when he did, he looked back at the coach and was taking his helmet off and just shook his head like, damn, we, we made it in. So if Georgia loses, which they have, they've lost one game in two years, Caitlin, is it is it tough when Georgia loses? Is he, is he, because I'm not good when Arkansas loses, so that's yeah. a lot, but is he not good? No, it's not good. Like, I even have <laughs> people say, like, I really am praying Georgia wins for you tonight just so, like, you and the family are okay. <laughs> No, no. That sounded I mean, a little extreme. <laughs> <laughs> my wife would say the same thing. The only no, time I have rage no. is when Arkansas loses. Like I'm like pounding the right. couch and yelling. Well, we just know we like Kane will just be like to himself the rest of the night. No one will talk to him. He won't want to eat. Like he'll just be upset about it. So, um, it's nah, taken very national champions, guys. Yeah. Like back to back <laughs> in good years. Are you an Eagles fan regionally? Are you? Is there anybody that you grew up loving? No. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> what? No. Uh, what about you, where you grew up, though? Yeah. Are you attached to, it doesn't have to be sports at all. Like, yeah. What about home? Is there where you're like, I'm a fan because I grew up around it? Um, The Phillies are a, a big thing. I mean, we all, I mean, I grew up going with all my friends, family, Phillies games and stuff. I would say I'm more attachment to Phillies than the Eagles. Although most of my family wish I loved the Eagles as much. But like, I'm not a huge sports person. What know? about singers from Philadelphia? Um. Well, there's Pink. Uh, Jonas Brothers are close by. Uh, Christina Aguilera came from Pittsburgh. So I have, like, I am proud of my state for, like, the, you know, people that came out of there. And, Hall, uh, Hall and Oates? Yeah. Yeah, and, um, no, I was thinking Jasmine Sullivan or Joss Stone, someone else that's really good. Um, there's some good. Rocky, that's what you meant. Yeah, there you go. Rocky, for sure. <laughs> cool. There's some good people out of Philly. Um, really, I, uh, uh, just individually, Kane, you know, I'm a big fan of not just your music, and because I am, but I like how you how you approach this industry and being non apologetic about being authentic all the time when it can sometimes be difficult. Because I, I mean, I get it; it's tough. Yeah. Like I, I think you're a great example for a lot of people who are doing things in a slightly different way and are being told, "Hey, I don't think this is going to work," but they can see you do it this way and be successful. And I think it keeps a lot of people also being authentic. So, so thanks for doing that. Thanks for staying in that lane, even though you've become massively successful and you could have easily changed. Yeah. Well, so thank you. That's thank all. You There's really that. nothing to say. And and Caitlin, to you, I know this wasn't the easiest thing to do, but you're so good at it. And I hope it gets easier. And I hope you do more of it. Thank you. And like I, I I'm personally requesting you do more of it. Thank and you. So <laughs> just I'm, I'm proud of you. And I hope you guys just it's gonna be a number one song soon. I hope and I imagine it will be. And I don't know. You going to Europe and gonna go see some stuff you haven't seen before, which is always super cool. That's one of the coolest things about me having any sort of success. Yeah, la well, last time I went to Europe, I didn't go out because she wasn't there, so I didn't want to see anything. I just saw that. Well, you that stayed, sounds, that you sounds so depressing. He's like, last, last time I went to Europe, I closed my eyes the whole time. I never even opened them. <laughs> no, no, no. I, st I stayed in my room and played Xbox. Really? Yeah, I saw the Alpha Tower from my uh, my, my hotel window. I feel like that's because he wanted to just play Xbox. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, he can, he can <laughs> put the blame on me, but hey. I think he just wanted to play video games. And that's his sweet way of saying it. Uh, Kane yeah. and Caitlin Brown, thank you guys so much. Congratulations on everything, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you so thank much. You.